things are weird in this shot. Ah, yes. Now we've really got it. I'm super excited for today because I am going to be training and eating like the queen, Natasha Ocean. And I probably said her name wrong, I apologize. It is what it is. She is one of my favorite YouTubers. I would say favorite, but you know. He is probably one of the most athletic people that I have ever seen in my life. Everything she does, I'm just very impressed by. She makes like normal health and fitness videos showing her workouts and what she eats, but she also breaks down the science behind the wellness industry. And also because she's literally just crazy athletic, she also does some pretty insane challenges which are really fun to watch. I relate to her a lot because in the past she struggled with an eating disorder and she's actually currently struggling with a bit of an injury while she trains for a 100 mile ultra. Yeah, I thought it would be fun to eat and train like Natasha because everything she makes in her What I Eat In A Day videos looks delicious. She eats a really wide variety of foods, and her training is cool and diverse and dynamic. So I'm stoked to try it all and live a full day like Natasha. I look up to her so much. Not that you should ever base your life off of someone else's life or not saying that this is what you should eat or work out like in a day, but very excited to try it. Natasha also always talks about how the first coffee is functional. And I really appreciate that. Cause you know, we need to normalize female fitness influencers talking about bowel movements. The second coffee is, is for fun. I can confirm, very fun. Okay, so first up is breakfast. We're making matcha. So we're making matcha pancakes because Natasha's made these before and I'm just excited to try it because I've been loving matcha lately. <laughs> But I haven't tried like cooking anything with matcha, so yeah, let's get to it. I don't have a blender, so I've got to do this the old-fashioned way, unfortunately. So, Natasha shares all of her recipes in the description of her videos, so I'm literally following her exact directions here. Looks like <laughs> If your looks like this, I'm really concerned. And also, I will share those recipes in my description as well. Somebody's gotta be the hero. The masterpiece. Ooh. Really good. So, as I said, Natasha is currently training for an ultra marathon, but she's injured, so she's doing a lot of biking. And during her long rides, she makes a drink that has lime, salt, and maple syrup. And I make my own version of this, and I just use element citrus and then untapped maple syrup. First workout today is three hour bike ride. Just like a steady effort. Natasha calls this zone one training. I don't really go by zones, but I know what she means. It's just like, you could go forever. You're just working on aerobic capacity and the hardest part <laughs> is just not getting bored. I didn't know that Georgie's taken care of. Natasha likes to stand up to give her butt a break. I agree, but I also think it like helps pass the time. It's almost like you're doing like two methods of cross training. They're sitting biking and standing biking. Would definitely recommend if you're doing a long stationary bike. In her 
her video, Natasha talks about the importance of intra-workout fueling, and I've been really trying to focus on this because it not only helps with your performance during the activity, but also recovery afterwards, and especially for long activities, it really is so important. Two and a half hours in, oh, I'm so bored, but down to the final stretch here, so that's good. Also, I'm battle two. Officially complete. I'm not doing it. Come on. Get over here or I'm throwing the tofu across the room. Get over here. I'll give you a million dollars. I'm not coming. <laughs> the tofu is sizzling away. We've got it on a high heat in our walk, and I'm just, just spatching it up. You know, I spatch in my spare time. So, Spence already ate because my bike took a while. So, I'm just cooking for myself, making something really quick. Natasha made this tofu rice bowl with broccoli. So I've got some tofu sizzling over here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I don't feel like getting any more dishes dirty, so Factor. Factor is awesome because it has 34 plus chef prepared dietitian approved meals. And they're super quick to make. All you gotta do, put a fork in it, boom, and then toss it in the microwave. Two minutes and you've got a great meal. I just biked for three hours, so I'm also making some tofu to go on top because I'm hungry. Factor is awesome. It's a great way to save time, to cut down on groceries, and have quick meals, especially for me when I'm between workouts. I've worked with HelloFresh in the past, and HelloFresh actually owns Factor, so it's awesome. I can use both services. If you want to try out Factor, Head to factor75.com or use the link below and use code ALLIO40 to get 40% off your first Factor box. Go to factor75.com and use code ALLIO40 to get 40% off your first Factor box. So honestly, this wasn't planned, but I really wanted a matcha, and there is evidence of Natasha enjoying matcha. She's also been quoted saying, if there's a dog that needs to be walked, I will walk it. And I happen to have a dog that needs to be walked, so you know what I did. Right. Set to Matting 10s. This is gonna be the most I've reverse lunged, so I think I can do it, but we'll see. This entire workout is from Natasha's latest video about training for her ultra, and it's all run specific focused strength work, which I really loved. I also appreciate that Natasha isn't just stopping her strength training because she's training for an ultra. She's continuing through her whole prep, which I think is really smart and it's a huge misconception that you don't need to strength train as a runner. Yeah, yeah. I added some tens on here, so yeah. Second set is, is serious. Good crotch shot there. <laughs> Give the people what they want. <laughs> I grabbed this band thinking, you know, it's probably gonna be too easy with this tiny one, but uh, not for today. This is this exercise is way harder than it looks.
said, Natasha is like one of the most athletic people I've ever seen. And some of the moves she does, I'm like, no, no. So anyways, I'm gonna try them now, just to put it in perspective, how hard they are. But you make running fast look casual. That's the lift. All done. Okay, back from the lift. Honestly, that lift was like incredible. I loved it so much. And I'm definitely gonna incorporate those moves into my normal rotation. But anyways, it's time for dinner. Uh, I'm just making a really easy flatbread recipe that Natasha made on her channel. It's just the flour Greek yogurt one. So good, so easy. All right, we gotta get a taste test on this. Looks good, looks good. Tastes like cobble. They eat, okay. yeah, they this dinner was an absolute hit. I was thriving while I was eating, and when I got done with it, I was happy that Natasha went for round two because I definitely wanted to as well. We've transitioned locations over to the couch. We're gonna watch a show now. So for a snack, Natasha had fruit and yogurt. I had to add granola because I need the crunch. And I also just feel a little bit wrong calling this dessert because you know it's not, but it was still good. All right, well, end of the day and I am full, satisfied, happy. That was a great day. Loved the lift, all the food was delicious. And yeah, I mean, I just really appreciate Natasha. I feel like she does a great job of not just spreading diet culture and actually like caring about wellness and not just how people look. So I really appreciate that. And also like today, just eating like Natasha was awesome because I remember when I was deep in my ED, watching her videos and being like, there's no way I could ever eat that much. It's so much. And then today, just like actually eating that much and being like, yeah, that's a normal amount of food. And there were definitely things where like, maybe if I were deciding what to eat, I would have felt bad having like two euros like I did at dinner. But it was actually like a really good amount of food and I felt super good and satisfied afterwards. So it's just a good reminder that like the rules I've created in my head or like maybe you have some in your head, they're worth challenging, they're worth questioning and um that's why it's great to have positive role models like natasha so if you don't follow her if you don't subscribe i would recommend <laughs> i feel like this entire video has been a brand deal for natasha this is not paid by the way <laughs> i just really like her but anyways yeah that's the video that's all for now folks